Aloha, Spikes! We're coming at you from sunny Winnipeg, Manitoba, on this very first episode of the Spike Feeders Summer Edition. As you can tell, we're all appropriately attired, and uh, gonna be playing some nice laid-back magic for you today. No, we're not. <laughs> uh, Easy going. Because it's summer, I've had some time to uh, reflect upon my decks that have been a little neglected lately with all of the busyness of a regular spike feeder season. And I'm coming back at you with Tuned Up Zer Consultation. So, Consultation. You, you know what those words mean probably, and if you don't, I don't know why you're watching this video, really. <laughs> Go watch something else. Also, if this is also, the first yeah. video that you're joining us, uh, welcome. Please, yeah, please don't go watch something else. <laughs> <laughs> please Unless don't listen the, to Elliot. The he's other stuff is the worst one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm playing something brand new, um, and if you have known me for any amount of time, uh, you know that I love playing Is It decks, really? but my biggest complaint about Is It decks is that they're not Jeskai decks. And my biggest complaint about Jeskai decks is that there are never any good commanders. So, I am playing... Um, Kakar? Kakar! Kakar! <laughs> um, Wind's Fury. This is a brand new card that uh, was spoiled um, in June. Yep. Uh, this is in M20. Uh, it's a sweet Jeskai general. This is a Jeskai Ascendancy deck. And uh, yeah, that is a card that I love playing. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Hopefully I get mm -hmm. to play with it. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, I am coming at you with a card that is very, very recent and very spicy. Uh, I'm coming at you today with the first sliver food chain. Uh, this is card for card Shaper Savant's list um, that you'd be able to find. It's like the top primer that exists for this. And uh, notable, this is the first sliver that I pulled in our box, our Modern Horizons yeah. box. That you can find. There's going to be a yeah. Link. Go go watch. Up. It's, up. It's, up. It's, up. it's up. Okay, we know, up. It's up. We we know, know that it's up. up. We figured that out. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to attempt to try to food chain and uh, cascade into my deck. Yeah. All awesome. Right. Uh, wow. Just like coming <laughs> oh, yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I'm yeah. going first. Yeah. Uh, so I am playing Shroom the Hedgemon, a uh, deck that one of our longtime fans and patron Max posted uh, on our Discord. And I was like, hey, this is really cool. We'll talk about it and we'll shop it a bit and place test it. And then I decided, nope, just going to play it on the air. Made <laughs> some slight adjustments. We'll do so it live. We'll do, do it, it live. live. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, bad yeah. then, but maybe not. Alrighty, and draw a card for my turn. Let's see. Let's see if I remember how to do math first, right? Are you casting uh, Doomsday? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to play this Misty Rainforest and crack it, going down to 39. Off this Misty Rainforest, I'm going to get an Underground Sea. Wow. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to tap this Underground Sea for a Soul Ring, mm. and I'm going to tap this Soul Ring for an Azorius signet. Jeez. Oh, and uh yeah, you know, I think I've done I've done my uh my due diligence uh, for now. I'll, yeah, I'll pass the turn. I love casting three mana worth of spells on turn one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna play this volcanic island and cast a real sad mystic remora. Ooh. And I'll pass the turn. And got him. Alright, I will draw. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to play this gemstone mine. Mm. Comes into play with three counters on it. Cast a mystery. Uh, I'm, I'm going to cast a non creature spell, not paying for, but I am going to cast Carpet of Draw Flowers. Mm. Uh, I'm going to move to my second main, target Elliot, and uh, add a black and cast Deathrite Shaman. Ooh. And I'll pass the turn. Huh. Oh, yeah, this ticks down. I'm going to card. Ooh, I like that one. Uh, I'm going to play a worse Underground Sea. Oh, are you at a 38? I'm, I'm like always right after Jim when he plays Mr. Grimoire. This happens <laughs> a lot. Hey? Well, I'm going to play a Soul it. Ring. Ugh. Oh, draw a card. And I'm going to play a Fell War Stone. Draw another card. Oh, and I'm going to pass a turn. Yeah, was, What's it like casting Ancestral Recall? Oh, it's Jim's so <laughs> Elliot, cast more artifacts. Uh, I'm going to untap and draw for my turn. Uh, well, I'm going to uh, tap the Soul Ring for two. Uh, make it a uh, oh, colorless white, blue, black, and cast Zare, uh, the Enchanter. That's a creature. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to play this Flooded Strand, so as to not provide Bill with any extra advantage. That's a good play. Pass the turn. It's a smart play for smart people. I'm going to play in a bunch of islands right away. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to untie nice. Mystic Remore Trigger on the stack. Uh... 
What do we think? I think a lot of things, Jim. You don't want to ask that question. What do we think? Let's go with I'm going to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay. <laughs> Pass the turn. Okay, yeah. you heard him. Mr. Gamora dies. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't play anything. Bill's turn. <laughs> I like this plan. You know what? I'm going to pay for it. Ooh. Oh, that's what pay means. <laughs> okay, I'll draw a card. And just as I predicted, islands. I would like to play the steam vents untapped. Yes. Ooh. It's a spicy island. 38. <laughs> Hot, hot island. Jalapeno island. <laughs> Jalapeno island. Island uh, so hot. Hot, hot island. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would like to uh, move to my end step mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. discard two cards. They will both be <laughs> just islands of the regular variety. Ooh, and not spicy. I will pass the turn. <laughs> cool ranch islands. <laughs> cool ranch islands. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna draw a card. Interesting. Uh, in my first main phase, mm. I oh, would no. like to add. Wow, suppose... and there's so many islands for this death yeah, yeah, I, know. I suppose oh, I'm going to target you. Am I supposed you. to play them? <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. I'm going to add green, green. Mm. Uh, I'm going to use one green to cast Llanowar Elves. Mm -hmm. And then. I mean, what are we doing if we're not just going for it, right? That's what they uh, say uh, on the spike feeders. <laughs> I'm going to play the Scalding Tarn. Paying a green. <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice it, going to 39. All right, off of the Scalding Tarn, I'm going to find a tropical island. Oh, now you can target yourself with Carpet Don't play islands. <laughs> yeah, wow. Uh, I'm not going to pay the four. I am going to cast a Lotus Ooh, Petal. Ooh. Uh, so I have green, blue, white... Uh, I'm gonna exile oh. this island for a red and Excuse crack me? this for the last one. <laughs> this is my exile zone. Thank uh, you. I'm gonna cast the first sliver trigger cascade. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. No effects, my dude. Cascade to something that costs four or less. Ponder. Okay. You can cascade a four. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Do it. Nah, it's not worth that. Do much. it. It's Do not it. That much. No. Do it. Nope. <laughs> and he puts it on the bot. This one card on the bottom in a random order. In a random order. Uh, then what's that? A seven seven? It's a seven seven. That's not. I'm gonna good. pass the turn. Like maybe uh, the correct play. Yeah. End of turn. I guess I'm gonna make a blue and cast a mystical tutor. Okay. <sighs> Drop it. Okay. Off uh, this mystical tutor. Okay. Cool. I did it right. Uh, I'm gonna get this toxic deluge. Oh. oh. Nice. Nice. Okay. Right. Nice. Right. Draw. That's fine. Untap. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. That's fine. That's fine. It's not like I even needed the. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four. Currently four. Currently four. Okay. Anything else is derived information. <laughs> That's fair. Well, I'm not gonna pay two life for this godless shrine. It's not even an island. It's not even an island. It's not even an island. Uh. I'm gonna pay three, and I'm gonna cast toxic deluge, and I'm gonna pay seven life. Yeah, that checks out. Oh, so uh, 31. 31. 31. Are you right. paying for it? I'll pay four additional life. <laughs> <laughs> if only that's how it worked. Draw card. I have no effects. I got no effects. No effects. <laughs> Zer dies painfully. Yeah. Okay. So do these guys. Cool. Oh, I'm going to pass the turn. Alrighty. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to crack this flooded strand. Going to 38. Off this flooded strand, I'm going to get. A hallowed fountain tapped. Sounds good. And then move to my untap. Yep. And draw a card. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> that one uh, would be much better. Still in my library. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play this snow covered island. Yes. And uh, well, what do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah! Look at that. <laughs> it's a Zer the Enchanter. <laughs> uh, effects. Nope. Effects. Yeah. effects. Ship the turn. Yep. I'm gonna untap. I'm not gonna pay for Mr. Grimoire. Oh no. Yeah, that did a lot of work. He drew, doing he drew stuff. what? 19 cards? So Approximately. Cards. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below how many cards James drew. I think it was six. 
um, which is not a bad investment for two mana. Two ancestral recalls. Yeah, literally just. It's, it's like, like Line of War Tribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two <laughs> ancestral recalls. That's, that meme is getting such a workout. <laughs> yeah. With uh, literally eight. just two reverberates. Two reverberates. Yeah. 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 I love eight bears. Eight <laughs> That's bears. my favorite one. Um, I'm going to play this full of its strength. Ooh, it's on an mm. island. Not an island it yet. It will be. Oh my god, it might not be. It might be a plains mountain. Then... Or just a plains. I would like to cast copy artifact. Ooh. Ugh. Targeting. Targeting my soul ring? Or it doesn't his target soul anything, but well, it's just a result. <laughs> choosing. Uh, effects. Effect. No. I don't know if I, I would like to choose uh, Jan's soul ring. Oh, ah, got specifically. it. Slightly got better. Him. Wow. <laughs> I opened mine out of a pack. Oof. Then I'm going to cast Talisman of Creativity. Oh, that's, that's a new one. Then I would like to. Uh, should have paid for his own mystic Grimoire. He'd be drawing more. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, cards. That's how, that's how it works. Let us know in the comments if that's how it works. <laughs> then I'm going to take a damage. Yep. 37. Uh, to create a blue, and I am going to cast Preordain. Ooh. Ooh. Scry 2. I'm going to bottom both of them. And draw a card. And I would like to move to my end step. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in hand. I will discard an island. And <laughs> pass the turn. It's okay, Death Ridge almost dead now. <laughs> oh, crap. Is he ever? Death Ridge almost uh, dead. In my first main phase, trigger carpet flowers, target Elliot yep. for three blue. Uh, I'm going to tap this tropical island for another blue and hard cast Mist Hollow Griffin. We're on the beat down. Oh. That's wild. Mist Hollow beats. <laughs> that's, that's pretty wild. That's a 3-3. That's a three, three. It's a 3-3. First, yeah. first Sliver's lesser known plan X. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to play uh, Marsh Flats and pass the turn. Oh, nice. Why is plan to... X funny? Because <laughs> it's not quite the last plan, yeah. but it's getting there. <laughs> I'm going to play this Marsh Flats. What? 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 Alright, we're, we're going to play oh boy. the Who Has Counter Magic game. Mm. I'm going to tap four, and I'm going to cast Karn, the Great Creator. Ooh, Creators Greatly. I have no effect. That's not run. It is not run, yes. For us, for, not for him. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to pass priority on that. Yeah, I have nothing. Yeah, nothing. All right. Card resolves. All right. So, five loyalty counters. Ooh, I'm going to plus card. Um, so up to, correct? Yep. Up to. to I'm not going to target anything. Genius. Um, you did it. I did it. I'm the best. Uh, I'm going to pass the turn. All righty. Uh, I'm going to untap. Hang on. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm tap. Okay. I have stop in your upkeep. Okay, I'm in my upkeep. Okay, I'm gonna fetch. Alrighty, 36. I'm gonna grab a Tundra. Mm hmm. And, okay, so Elliot, I'm gonna offer you um, a deal. Politics? Politics? Wow, yeah, I know. In this my is weird. Weird. Politics. Interesting. Okay. I'm, I'm <clears throat> listening. If we could get rid of this Karn mm -hmm. at the expense of you not being able to attack this turn. Is that something you'd be interested in doing? I mean, he can like grasp a fate on his turn. Like, yeah, like I, I, I needed I, him to not be able to attack regardless. I I think I think me attacking is is pretty good. That's a no. That's a that's a no. I'm gonna go with a no. Okay. From me, I mean, dog. The consequence is you're not gonna be able to attack at all. Ever. Yeah. You can either you can either <laughs> attack and do something that I want you to do, or you will not be able to attack. Ooh, oh, he's bluffing. Keep him it's hostage. Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Your options are, here's, okay. here's your option one. Okay. <laughs> you uh, you trade your ability to attack this turn okay. for us getting rid of the current. Okay. Okay. The consequence, if you don't do that, is you won't be able to attack and there will be no benefit. Wow. This is wild. Okay. okay. And that's, both are guaranteed. Okay. Sure. I will take the first option then. I think I know okay. what's going on. I'm going to cast Banishing Knack targeting Zer. <laughs> ah, gotcha. That, that is this so dude. weird. It allows it gives Zer an ability to uh, tap to return a permanent to its owner's hand. Interesting. Oh, 
non-land burn. Yeah. But he just recasts it. Not on your turn. It is my turn. Yeah. But you get to use your artifacts this turn. I guess. And then Jim gets to use his artifacts. Yeah, Yeah, okay. Yeah, Banishing Act uh, resolves. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Attack Jim. (laughs) Draw a card for my turn. (laughs) I guess. Okay. Draw, Draw a card for my turn. Um... I don't know where the you're never gonna be able to attack with Zer again kind of... came from. Okay. That's yeah, he's just he's just prepping us for the future. Hmm. I don't think my hand does anything. I think it's like is a bad deal for you right now, Elliot. <laughs> Jan would say that. Yeah. You have the most to he lose. He just <laughs> threatened you to be like. Yeah. I this mean, is so weird. This is. Can we make like political opponents videos against each other? Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> last year, Jan told you that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty straightforward. I'm gonna have a Karn, and that's about it. I might cast my shrew. I have a three three. Yeah, Bill's got a three three. I have a three three. I've not threatened you. I think like So I have a counter offer. <laughs> <laughs> what if now I can get rid of the Karn, but I also can attack? No, he's just gonna play a thing that means you can't attack. Uh-huh. With he's no th- mana right now? On his turn. On his turn. He's That's gonna right. untap and he's got a soaring. Are you gonna win the game? Maybe. It's a weird day. <laughs> I'm gonna move to combat. Okay. I'm gonna attack Karn. <laughs> sure thing. Trigger sure. Zer the Enchanter. Yep. yep. Uh so off of Zer the Enchanter, I'm gonna oh, find yeah. Go ahead. Necropotence. Mm. Okay. Yep. And then uh Mr. Karn is going to take Uno. Uno damage. Okay, I've got Karn at uh, <laughs> Karn at five. five. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna play a Scrubland for my land for my turn. And I'll articulate it out. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm gonna cast a grasp of fate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so when it enters, I would like to target Copy Artifact, Soul Ring, Carpet of Flowers, and Mr. Karn. Uh, they will go for safekeeping under the grasp beside the Necropotence. Under my grasp. Very specifically. And now what, hey? Now what? Uh, I'm going to tap this Soul Ring. And cast an Orzhov signet. Ooh. Just just stacking signets. Signet. And I'm going to pay 18 life okay. into this Necropotence. Go to 20. Uh, going to 20. And exiling the top 18. Eighteen, and then I would like to move to my end step. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I will put these cards into my hand, and then move to my discard situation. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to move to discard, yep. and discard into exile because of my necropotence. Tundra, polluted delta, arid mesa, underground river, sunken ruins, talisman of hierarchy, felwar stone, cursed totem, sensei's divining top, aura of silence, yogmoth's will. Mystical Tutor, Limb Duel's Vault, Brainstorm. Mm-hmm. Is that in a really weird order, Elliot? Leaving <laughs> seven cards in my hand. Okay. So Pass the untap. turn. Untap. With four mana instead of six. Draw yeah, that's not my fault. Shut up, Jan. <laughs> he would have untapped with three instead of six if it was your fault. Yeah, but you yes. would have untapped with less. Yes. Mana Confluence <laughs> is my land for turn. Now I've just got six mana. <laughs> But five mana now. Math is nobody can nobody can math today. Cast brainstorm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I'd like to draw three cards. I will then put two cards back on top of my library, like that. Then I would like to tap my talisman of creativity for a colorless. Put that pen down. I'm going to cast an actual factual Sol Ring. Ooh. Ooh. And then I'm going to cast an actual factual Null Rod. Um, <laughs> I doubt that strong. one. Strong. Azorius Signet. Hey, oh, me too. Cow. 
and then I'm going to cast hmm. got four mana. It's a goblin bombardment. Oh. And I will pass the turn. Alright, I'm just gonna untap and draw a card. <laughs> it's not even good. It's <laughs> the bad like part. Food chain, bam, and then you just lose <laughs> immediately. <laughs> um Yeah, uh combat, I guess. Mm. Elliot. Yep. Uh I will go to seventeen. Seventeen. I will pass the turn. On your turn, I will crack this marsh flats. Go to thirty. So off my marsh flats, I'm gonna go get an underground sea. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All right. So I'm gonna untap all of my permanents. Draw a card. Hiya. It's powerful. Play an island. Cast a talisman of progress. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's progress. That's progress. And then I'm going to pay six mana and cash room. Hmm. Nice. As a 5-5. Five, five. Do you have any artifacts? He does any not have any okay. artifacts. It's, <laughs> it's just a 5-5. Five, five. Just a 5-5. Five, five. 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 Trigger. Just a 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Uh, all righty. I'm going to untap. Uh, move to my upkeep. And move to my not draw step, main phase. Yep. I'm going to move to combat. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to attack... Mm -hmm. Bail. <laughs> Trigger <laughs> Zerthe Enchanter. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty, off of my Zerthe Enchanter, I'm gonna find a Mystic Remora. Mm. Fishy, mm -hmm. fishy. Powerful. And uh, Bill, please take one damage. I got, I got oh, 38. 38. 38. 38. Uh, I'm gonna play a Command Tower mm -hmm. as my land for turn. And I'm going to cast this Mana Crypt. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I got no effects. No effects? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tap the Mana Crypt. Uh, floating... Uh, so I have two colorless, turn it into colorless white-black. Floating a white, I would like to cast Demonic Tutor. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, off this Demonic Tutor, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this card into my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Demonic Tutor over there. Then... No. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to use the white, white. that I have floating uh, to turn it into a white and a blue. Okay. Uh, and then I'll add two more blue. So I have blue, 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 white. I'm going to cast Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then I'm going to add a black. Oh, yeah. He's got four loyalty counters. Four. And then I'm going to add a black, and I'm going to cast Demonic Consultation. Yeah, I got no effects mm -hmm. on Demonic Consultation. Uh, I'm going to name Borborygmos Enraged. <laughs> Seems good. And yeah. I'm going to uh, reveal the top six. You guys know what's happening here. Yeah. Ooh, Those, do we, though? Uh, it's on screen. Uh, so I'm going to reveal the top six. Borborygmos isn't there. So I'm going to reveal the rest of my library until I find Borborygmos. The secret is he's not there at all. Oh, spoilers. Yeah, well, so <laughs> I haven't watched this episode yet. I don't know why I know he's not there. So I'm going to have no cards in my library, and I'm going to attempt to plus Jace targeting myself to put the top two cards in my library into my graveyard and draw a card. I have a response. Yes, sir. I'm going to cast Retraction Helix targeting Shuru. Mm -hmm. I have no effects. Oh, I'm going to try to draw a card with my Mystic Remora for you not paying for and win the game. Yeah, yeah, you got it. <laughs> yep. Great. In response to winning the game, I win the game. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, okay. So I, uh, I hunted island. like super hard in that game. But, uh, okay, so let me, let, me, let me break down what was going on uh, there. That's with, the wrong uh, one. <laughs> with my ill-fated politics. <laughs> <laughs> I was very confused. Yeah, and yeah, uh, me too. rightfully so. So um, what I had intended to communicate, obviously not what I did communicate, <laughs> was that Elliot needed to uh, take the action that I wanted him to take by the end of his upkeep. Uh, right. So I had the Banishing Knack in my hand. It would have tapped Zer down so that he couldn't attack. But Karn would have been out of the way. 
whatever. I didn't know what Elliot had in his hand. Yeah, yeah. It was like fine. Other than that, I've got like no action. And then mm-hmm. Elliot's got necropotence in play. He sculpted his hand by drawing out many cards or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't say by the end of the upkeep. So <laughs> Elliot uh, just drew into his own removal for it, mm-hmm. and uh, obviously was uh, under no circumstances bound by our prior <laughs> agreement. Um, but the trade-off was going to be if he didn't do it by the end of the upkeep, I was going to cast the banishing knack on Bill's mist hollow griffins that Bill could bounce. Mm. Yeah. Um, so obviously I wanted both of them out of action. Got a little greedy. Could have gone for the sure thing because uh, I'm sure Bill would have tapped the mist hollow griffin without a second. Thought. Yep. Uh, it may have had summoning sickness. I don't remember. Um, before I got to untap, it did have summoning sickness. Oh, okay, yeah. so it wouldn't make it made a difference anyway. So um, it was bad. <laughs> and I should know better than to try and play politics. So um, yeah, failing that, I also had another opportunity when Bill attacked with his Mist Hollow Griffin. Um, I should have told him to hold back because I also had the retraction helix. Is there a retraction? Uh, anyway, yeah, which is yeah, the other yeah, one. Yeah, running banishing neck and retraction helix, and I had the other one. So I actually could have cast it targeting the mist hall griffin if I had reminded Bill not to attack. Right. Um, at which point he could have um, popped the grasp of fate and brought Karn back into play, mm-hmm. which would have shot off Elliot's like five mana worth of rocks. <laughs> yep. Um, uh, yeah. So notably, um, banishing neck and retraction helix are some sick. Uh, yeah. Tech. Oh yeah, they are. They're like kind of sick tech because um, they obviously enable some like uh, decent holding hostage plays, which is what I was trying unsuccessfully to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but they're also part of uh, some pretty sick combos in this deck. Um, the downside to banishing knack is that uh, it actually grants the creature the ability. So even though Jan had Shroom untapped there, I could have given it. Yeah. Um, the ability, but he couldn't have used it. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's kind of unfortunate. Yeah. No, there's um, my the only option thing that I could have done differently. I drew a lot of lands. I think I drew a land every single draw step. Yeah. Um, the only thing I could have done differently is uh, played the Karn instead of the Deluge. Mm, the turn right before. The turn before. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that just means Bill just beats us down with a sliver. Well, because no, I, I get the, the Deluge on the second up. Like, yeah. The second chance. Yeah. Um, it's just a matter of like I needed I I re- literally I needed Elliot to do anything but cast Zer on yeah. the turn after mm-hmm. I deluged, um, and it would have been fine. Yeah. But yeah, because then you could have just like if I had played Karn, you could have just attacked and Graspa faded, uh, and then I would have got the deluge, and you know it would have been a weird. I needed to not draw lands. That's what I needed to <laughs> yeah. do. Lands and mana rocks. How to be a pro player? player. Yeah. yeah, my opening hand was decent because it. Led to a turn, turn, turn to Zer, obviously, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, I didn't see much outside of that except I happened to draw exactly the Scrubland after the Grasp of Fate to be able to hard cast it instead of, you know, tutoring it with Zer. But uh, yeah, I also don't think I needed to Grasp of Fate that turn, but uh, I could have drawn into some different stuff with the Necropotence and stuff. So. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. But yeah, I uh, my opener was uh, decent. Like I kept it obviously because of the turn where Mystic Remora. Um, I could have uh, done things a little bit differently. The problem was the Mystic Remora drew me into like five lands and that uh, preordain. Mm-hmm. So that was like I drew six cards, but like whatever, you know. I yeah, they were just ended up discarding them. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's better than not drawing six cards. Yeah, but for sure. It's but, yeah. definitely not as good as it would have been if it had drawn me into action. So, yeah. yeah. What are you going to do? I um, think, yeah, my opener was the like land into Soul Ring into Felwar Stone into Mystic Room or Mystical Tutor. And originally the plan was to go get um, Windfall. Mm. Um, mm. And Bill played a 7 7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would have loved a Windfall in that case. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that's it yeah. for uh, for this episode. Uh, stay tuned. Um, we do have another episode coming out. I believe it's coming out July 18th. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sounds then, approximately um, correct. If you're Who just cares? Out, it's summer. It is summer. No stay We're gnarly. Oh, God. Oh. Tubular. <laughs> well, see you next time. <laughs> yeah. Summer work. Hey, thanks for checking out the Spike Feeders on YouTube. If you like this content and you want to see more, make sure you click subscribe. If you love this content, click on the link to our Patreon. Every dollar helps us create more videos like this.